Hey guys, it's Wendy. I am making a cheesecake for this weekend and I'm doing it in the pressure cooker. It is so easy. I just want to show you this. You never have to worry about it cracking or not being done in the middle. It always comes out perfect. All right, so real quick, um, I have my filling going in the sand mixer. I'll show you that in a sec. I did the crust in the manual food processor. So I just put the cookies in here and you just do that. And here's my crust. Okay, I already pressed it in. This is the springform pan that fits in the pressure cooker. Comes with this cradle so you can get it in and out. And let me show you the filling. Okay, so it's just your standard cheesecake filling with two blocks of cream cheese, two eggs, half a cup of sugar, and vanilla, and one tablespoon of cornstarch, and that's it. So this has one minute to go, and you could see that the mixer just sped itself up. It's all controlled. That's almost looking like it's just about done, right? Oh my gosh, looks so good. Okay, and... I have my pressure cooker all queued up here, so I'll just talk to you just a sec about this. Um, did not plug it in yet because my mixer is plugged in, but what I did do is there is already in here one cup of water because you have to have water, and I put the wire rack in here because that cheesecake pan is going to sit right on top of the rack. You don't want it to actually be in the water. So, um, I will show you that in a sec. So, the mixer's almost done. The filling's almost done. Look at that. And this recipe has a delicious strawberry or mixed berry or whatever fruit you want topping that you can put on it. And how cool is this that the mixer is on a timer? So that way, if you need to step away, if you get a phone call, if your kids are screaming, if somebody rings your doorbell for a delivery or anything like that, you can just take a breath and not worry about it because if your mixer is on, it's gonna just shut itself off, whatever preset you use it on. The other thing that I love is, especially for cheesecake, it has this amazing scraper blade so that you don't have to scrape the sides of the bowl while it's running. And of course, that's always fun with a stand mixer because then you have to actually shut it off. And all of the attachments, they go in the dishwasher. So if you want more information about the stand mixer and how I can help you get it for a discount, feel free to comment. This is still a host exclusive for April. So you can only get the stand mixer by hosting a party. It also comes with the, um, the dough hook, I couldn't remember what it's called, and the whisk. So you keep all the tools you need to do whatever you need to in your kitchen. All right, I don't know why this keeps getting pushed to the other side. Okay, throw that in the sink. All right, and then the bowl is just a twist to unlock. And I'm just going to take this I'm going to pour it right into my um, cheesecake. I'm also going to move my mixer. Oh, this is the best part, guys. If you have not seen this, this mixer has handles also. It is so easy to move this around in your kitchen when you need to. There's a handle built in in the back. Just hold it from the front. And there's even cord storage, so you don't have to worry about the cord dragging all over the place and getting caught underneath it. So absolutely love that feature. All right, let me just move this out of the way because I want to plug in my quick cooker so we can get the cheesecake going. And we'll just get this on. Okay, all set. All right, I'm gonna just pour this into my um, springform pan. Sorry, there's a lot of distractions in my house today. All right, let's pour this in. Um, one thing about cheesecake is it might be a little chunky, so I wouldn't worry about that. Everything melts and combines when you are um, cooking it in the pressure cooker. And like I said, it comes out perfect. You don't have to worry about it 
um, cracking or being hard on the edges and uncooked in the middle. The whole thing just cooks so evenly, amazing. It is so delicious. I won't make a cheesecake any other way now. All right, so. There we go, and you could do different flavors. Also, this is just your basic cheesecake. All right, you're going to want to take a piece of foil and put this on top of your springform pan because otherwise you're going to have all the water from the condensed steam in your pressure cooker. It's going to be in your cheesecake and we don't want that. Okay, so you're just gonna put the, a piece of foil right on top and then this rack has these two convenient handles and this just slips right in sits on top of the rack and I'll fix that foil in just a sec and then you just fold the handles down the lid goes right on top and that means it's locked and then coolest thing this actually has a dessert setting so you just turn the knob to dessert press start that's it. When this is done, you're going to want to let it naturally release. And if you want the recipe, I'll post it. I forgot how long that is, I have to check. But you want to naturally release so that your cheesecake um, cools down slowly because it is gonna get really hot in here, otherwise you wouldn't have pressure in the steam. So, and make sure you put that cup of water in here because if you don't do that, your cheesecake's not gonna cook. So if you want the recipe, let me know. I hope you guys are having a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.